What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Cosmos Atom versus Solana. One of these blockchains is going to knock the other one out of the park. This fight will be so ferocious, so you better buckle up because it might get pretty wild. On one corner, we have Cosmos, who have been self-declared as the internet of blockchains. And on the other hand, we have Solana, the brave soul of the valley that everyone goes to when they have a project to build. However, the throne of blockchains has only place for one winner. There can be only one. So which one is it going to be? But before I jump into the content, I just updated my new free ebook on the seven best ways to secure your crypto updated for 2021. It's 100% free. Check it out in the description, also pinned in the comments. And let's get started. Now, before we start comparing these two opponents, let's do a recap of blockchains. As a concept for those of you who are new to this technology and find it hard to keep up with the overall technical stuff. Originally, blockchain was just the computer science term for how to structure and share data. Today, blockchains are hailed as the fifth financial revolution of computing. Blockchains are a new approach to the distributed database or distributed ledger. The innovation comes from incorporating old technology in new ways. You can think of blockchains as distributed databases that have a group of individuals, controls, and that store and share information transparently. There are many different types of blockchains and blockchain applications. Blockchain is an all-encompassing technology that is integrating across platforms and hardware all over the world. Okay, so a blockchain is a data structure that makes it possible to create a digital ledger of data and share it among a network of independent parties. The value of blockchain technology comes from the distributed security of the system, no single point of failure. For this reason, there are several characteristics that are completely necessary for developing or using a blockchain. The blockchain does not need any external or internal trust authority. This is possible because the blockchain data is distributed amongst all users. Every user has their own copy of the transactions and they spread the information of any new transactions to the entire network simultaneously. This way it is not possible for anyone to alter the information in the chain since it is not stored by any individual entity but for an entire network of node users. Once a block of transactions is validated, it is added to the chain and every user updates their local information. Even if an attacker were to modify your local chain, the network will not accept any block from the altered blockchain. Now, let's get a bit deeper into how blockchains really work. And when one ledger book gets filled up, we add to a chain of previous books. That's the blockchain. Users need to meet an agreement about the validity of the chain before adding more blocks to it. Every time a node adds a new block, all the users have to validate that block by using a common protocol. Typically, the nodes reach a consensus about the correctness of a new block by proof of work or proof of stake methods. The nodes check that the new block meets the prerequisites of their proof method, including validation for all the transactions contained in that block. If the block is valid, they consider it as part of a blockchain and keep adding new blocks on top of it. As the multi-chain future becomes a reality, developers now have the task of deciding which blockchain to build their project on. And with the growing number of blockchains, the number of factors to consider when picking one grows right along with it. So the question today is Cosmos or Solana? Which blockchain is better for developers and why? Now, at first, we will explain these blockchains separately and then compare them neck to neck to see which one will win. Let's first start with Cosmos. Cosmos is an exceptionally ambitious project in the realm of ambitious projects. It's looking to become the blockchain that pulls all the other blockchains together in its blockchain interoperability platform. Cosmos calls itself the most customizable, scalable, powerful, and interoperable ecosystem of connected blockchains. It's a decentralized network of independent blockchains powered 
by Tendermint and other Byzantine fault tolerant algorithms. It is Byzantine fault tolerance that allows a blockchain to achieve consensus even in an environment that is potentially malicious. The Cosmos network has the potential to become the internet of blockchains, as it calls itself, and is also called the Cosmos hub. Cosmos is the first blockchain to be launched on the Cosmos network, and its task is to link other blockchains, which are called zones within the network. Once these links are complete, tokens can be quickly and securely transferred from one zone to another very easily. The Cosmos SDK provides developers with the means to build a blockchain and dApps while only worrying about the application layer. With the addition of ABCI, application state is managed in a separate consensus process, allowing Cosmos to support a wide variety of scripting languages and cryptocurrencies. Blockchains connected to the Cosmos hub will be able to communicate with each other using the IBC protocol without regard for what the consensus algorithm is being used. This will allow the transfer of assets between blockchains while preserving any contractual features they may have. So what makes Cosmos superior? Cosmos is working to solve both scalability and usability limitations in blockchain technology. Scalability has been the greatest issue among the world's largest blockchains over the past few years, and none have been able to implement a solution yet that allows them to get anywhere near the scale they will need to accommodate mainstream adoption rates. When usability is considered, both developers and users are limited. Seems like a miracle would be needed, just like with Frank here. Recent research has shown that empirical evidence for globalization of corporate innovation is very limited. And as a corollary, the market for technologies is shrinking. As a world leader, it's important for America to provide systematic research grants for our scientists. I believe strongly there will always be a need for us to have a well-articulated innovation policy with emphasis on human resource development. Thank you. Developers lack flexibility when creating blockchain applications, and users have been limited by the lack of easily accessible applications. Cosmos believes that it can solve this through the use of the Go programming language and a multi-layer structure. Now, let's continue with Solana. Solana is a high-performance cryptocurrency blockchain that supports smart contracts and dApps. Solana's basics are, Solana uses a proof of stake consensus mechanism with a low barrier to entry along with time-stamped transactions to maximize efficiency. This allows Solana to process 50 to 65,000 transactions per second with a limit of over 70,000 TPS. Solana is also incredibly complex. Let's talk about a term you may not have heard for another project before. Proof of history or POH. POH is not a consensus mechanism, rather it is a component in Solana's proof of stake consensus. POH involves timestamping transactions when they are added to a Solana block. A new block on Solana is generated every 400 milliseconds. So what makes Solana superior? In contrast to the POS Cosmos system, there is no minimum stake required to be a node on the Solana blockchain. Naturally, the amount of block rewards you get is proportional to the amount of SOL tokens you have staked with the network. While leader selection is pseudo-random, the amount of SOL you stake also influences your likelihood of becoming a leader which actually produces blocks. So now Cosmos versus Solana. Now, if we talk about which blockchain is better for developers to build applications, then in this case, naturally Solana is better. While Cosmos provides developers with almost everything besides the application layer, Solana's transaction speed allows projects to grow and flourish faster on their platform. On the other hand, if the team of developers is small and is building slowly day by day, then Cosmos is the best solution because it takes away the burden of having to build everything from scratch. However, there is a major advantage that Solana has towards Cosmos, and that is the lack of a minimum stake required. Usually, developers and users struggle with the lack of funds to build on a blockchain, so not being able to afford the minimum stake 
they just cannot hop on Cosmos. Even if they would afford the minimum stake required, there's always a bigger fish that gets upgraded faster despite entering the blockchain layer. Solana gives everyone a fair start and the opportunity to build at the same crazy speed that this blockchain provides. So there you have it. Cosmos is great and it will prosper as a project, but Solana simply offers better advantages for both users and developers. With all that being said, that was it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your opinions on this, which chain you like better down in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video here on Cardano versus Polkadot. See you guys in that video now. Crypto Renegade out.